Welcome to Camsaparts Automotive Limited today. We will be talking about engine distributor and how it works. What is a distributor? A distributor is a component in a spark ignition system that channels high voltage pulses from the ignition coil to the spark plugs. Distributors are typically driven by the camshaft, which causes them to rotate at exactly one half the speed of the crankshaft. This precise timing allows a distributor to provide voltage to each spark plug at the correct time and in the proper sequence. Modern direct and distributorless ignition systems perform the same functionality without a distributor. Parts of distributor. The following are the parts of a distributor. 1. Cam. It is a part of a distributor that is attached to the distributor shaft and rotates with it. It consists of lobes to open the contact breaker point. The number of lobes in the distributor is similar to the number of cylinders. When the cam rotates, it drives the cam. Follower and the breaker points are separated causing the current to break. 2. Capacitor. It also has a capacitor to protect the contact point of the contact breaker from overheating. It improves the output of high voltage current by reversing the current flow through the primary coil. 3. Condenser. Each ignition distributor is provided with a condenser at the contact points to reduce sparks as they open into the distributor, thus minimizing burns and pitting of the points. Arcing occurs due to the effect of self-induction in the coil as the points block the flow of current. 4. Contact Breaker The contact breaker is a mechanical designed breaker point. One end of the contact breaker is movable and the other one is fixed. Its function is to create and break the primary circuit current and is connected to the breaker. Assembly. As the cam's lobe pushes the cam follower of the contact breaker, the breaker's points that were touching each other separately and break the primary current to flow through the ignition coil's primary winding. 5. Distributor cap. As the name suggests, it is the cover that protects the internal parts of the distributor system and maintains contact between the internal rotor and the spark plug wires. It has only one post for each cylinder, but contact point type ignition systems have a central post that is connected to the ignition coil to draw current from it. 6. Terminals inside the distributor cap. There is a terminal that corresponds to each post. The plug terminals are arranged around the periphery of the cap according to the firing order so that secondary voltage is sent to the appropriate spark plug at the correct time. 7. Distributor Shaft The distributor shaft is located in the middle of the ignition distributor. This shaft is connected to the camshaft of the engine with the help of a gear drive. It has a cam that is used to break the point of the contact breaker. 8. Drive Gear The ratio of the distributor gear is such that it gives the distributor one full turn for every complete turn of the crankshaft and for every to complete turns of the camshaft. This assures that the spark plugs will burn in the correct position of the piston. The drive gear is firmly attached to the distributor shaft by means of a steel roll pin. 9. Rotor The distributor rotor is a device in a spark ignition system that provides spark from the ignition coil for proper contact inside the distributor cap. It is driven by the camshaft of the engine and is therefore synchronized with it. As the camshaft rotates, the distributor shaft also rotates. This will cause the rotor attached to the distributor shaft to rotate. 10. Spark Advance Mechanism It is a mechanism used in spark ignition engines to drive the spark. Its function is to burn the fuel before the piston reaches TDC. This provides the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder to burn completely and, as a result, there will be maximum pressure on the piston. There are usually two types of spark advance mechanism in this, and i.e. centrifugal advance spark mechanism and vacuum spark advance mechanism. How does a distributor work? The basic operation of a distributor is twofold. First, the rotor turns in time with the camshaft, which allows it to root voltage to each spark plug according to the firing order that the engine uses. Second, the rotation of the distributor shaft operates the contact breaker in order to activate the coil at precisely the right time to fire each spark plug. The first task of a distributor is basically the same in both mechanical and electronic ignition systems. When the magnetic field in the ignition coil collapses and 
creates a high voltage pulse in the secondary winding. A circuit has to exist between the coil, the correct spark plug, and ground. This circuit consists of 1. A coil wire 2. The central contact point in the distributor cap 3. The rotor 4. One of the outer contact points in the distributor cap 5. A spark plug wire 6. The center electrode of the spark plug 7. The outer electrode of the spark plug 8. The spark plug housing, which is grounded to the engine when a distributor cap is installed. An electrical connection is made between the central contact point of the cap and the rotor. Then, as the rotor turns, it makes electrical contact with outer contact points, each of which is connected to a spark plug. Via a spark plug wire, since the rotor spins at the same speed as the camshaft, and the camshaft rotates at one half the speed of the engine, the rotor can be made to always line up with the right contacts in the distributor cap at the correct time, since the distributor shaft rotates in sync with the engine. It is also provides a convenient way to properly time the operation of the ignition coil. In mechanical ignition systems, this is accomplished with points. As the distributor shaft turns, it causes the points to open and close, which in turn acts as the contact breaker for the coil. In electronic ignition systems, a Hall effect sensor or an optical sensor and an ignition module are typically used to perform essentially the same function. Bad distributor symptoms. A faulty distributor can cause a number of issues. Here are some of the most common. 1. Engine performance problems. A faulty distributor can cause a wide range of engine performance. Problems such as stalling, misfiring, and poor acceleration. 2. Check engine light. If your vehicle was made within the last few decades, chances are a problem with the distributor will trigger the check engine light. 3. Engine cranks but doesn't start if the distributor is bad. The engine may not get the spark it needs. As a result, the engine will crank, but it will not start or run. 4. Increased emissions. A bad distributor can cause an engine misfire that can lead to an increase in emissions and Potentially, a failed state emissions test. 5. Abnormal noise. In some cases, worn distributor bushings or bearings may allow the distributor to move around and create abnormal noise. Causes of a bad distributor, like several car components. Some factors can cause the distributor to become faulty. Here are the most common causes you should watch out for. 1. Corrosion. Corrosion is a common issue with most electrical components in cars. It occurs when moisture and a metallic component come into contact. It can also happen due to oxidation. When your vehicle runs too hot, other substances like grease or deposits, fuel or oil leaks can cause corrosion. You can protect your car distributor from corrosion by cultivating a regular maintenance habit. 2. Carbon buildups. Carbon buildup is the most common reason. Distributors become bad quickly. High electric flow spark in the distributor can cause buildups and erosion on the contact points, rotor, and other parts. Carbon buildups are typically obvious. You can see them once you remove the distributor caps. 3. Wear and tear. Distributors are subject to wear and tear since they are exposed to high electric voltage. Plan on replacing it every two to three years so it won't fail when you least expect it. How to fix bad distributors. If you establish that you have a lousy distributor, after a thorough inspection, you must fix or replace it depending on the type of damage. If it's a cracked distributor cap, replacing it with a new one is the most feasible fix, but if the cap is dirty or corroded, you must clean it properly. Here's a simplified guide on how to clean a corroded distributor. One. Remove the distributor cables, ensure they are labeled. If not, label them so that you can reinstall them in the correct order. 2. Remove the distributor cap by unscrewing the fasteners, holding it in place. 3. Clean the contact points on the distributor cap with a bristle brush and some contact cleaner. 4. Dry the cleaned cap with compressed air or a clean rag. 5. Reinstall the distributor cap by following the reverse process. That will be all for today. To get an original car part anywhere in Nigeria, please visit 
www.comseaparts.com.